Frozen River. But not totally, you can see it. It isn't it isn't totally frozen. Yeah. It's weird, like why is it so frozen right here? Because it's not down there. Right. Maybe it's just like a like not as busy traffic over here? Well I think this is like stagnant edge because it yeah. turns into a tea, tea joint. Right. And this way you're closer to the lake. Right. So maybe it's just like the perfect amount of distance from both that tea joint and the lake that it's like can stay cold. Yeah. All right, we are walking over to Beatnik on the river. We've never been. We wanted to go for a little while now. Yeah. And we almost went a couple weeks or a couple months ago. Yeah, we almost went before we saw Leslie Odom Jr. Yes. That was like our backup plan. We couldn't get in, I think, or something. I think it was we could get in, and it was like a backup if we couldn't get into the Chicago yeah. Athletic Association. So even last night, like there was a ton of reservations. This is more of a popular place in the spring and summer yeah. because it's on the river. It's very Instagram worthy. Patio, all that good stuff. It's like boho chic. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't even know what they have to be honest. Yeah, we're going for brunch. Yeah, it's and, like 10:30. Uh, we got out the door at 9:30. Yeah. Well, I hope it's not 10:30. Our reservations at 10:30. Oh god. Uh, we're walking over now. All right, past the, the one of the many beautiful bridges in Chicago. And here we are coming up, just below that good funk sign. Beatnik. Like, as west as this year's tower. Yeah, we're on the west, like wall of the loop. When there's Beatnik on the river, I hope there's like a riverside seat still. has arrived. It's called the Maya Layover Spritz. It's got a canola passion fruit liqueur, Baja and orange bitters and cava. And I can't wait to drink it. And look at James to get his own little water cup. He sees that food over there, he was like, I am. Our food is here already. I got the chicken and waffles. Comes with cauliflower. We got extra honey on the side. Got some bread pudding for Jamesy. And let's be honest, I'm sure we'll eat some too. And then Peter got the baba ganoush. Look at that. Dance it out, say dance, say dance it out. He's got a full belly. Very full belly. <laughs> it was good. It was Everything very good. Was Everything. Like, we so closed like, out the tab. That bread pudding was better than Ohio. Yeah. Like, it was like crusted and caramelized. I just finished my drink and then we're out of here. Out into the cold. And it is 
toasty in here, like almost too toasty. Like this breeze. From that thing? <laughs> They're playing Jungle Book in here. <laughs> Sleeping now. That's Jamesy's I'm trying not to fall asleep song. <laughs> you love that pita bread? This is the like, little cave you go through to get out of here. Snares. Baby. <laughs> Full belly. <laughs> oh, there's the indoor eating. One of our favorite views. Do you recognize it from the dark night? No, I recognize it from my life. <laughs> <laughs> but I always like seeing that part in yeah. the movie. <laughs> I literally worked for three years. Three years ago? Yeah, because you worked there before we got married, but not before we got, like you weren't working there when we got engaged. No. It was about three years ago. Um, literally in the building next door. Right. Jenna, my sister, saw them filming she the saw scene. The Batman. Teddy from Little Women. Christian Bale. Yeah. And she saw like the semi truck flip over. So we are in Black 37 and I came into Zara to see if they had any cute Disney stuff. And they do. It's a cute little Chippendale. This backpack, so cute. Just little things scattered around, but so cute. These little sweatshirts. I'm not crazy when Mickey looks mad. Like, I get it. He's a man of many expressions, but cute. It's snowing outside. We made our way over to Primark, and I think I'm gonna get James and Teddy their very first matching outfits. I'm going to show them to Peter and then I'll show you. Well, uh, apparently I'm, I'm going shopping. <laughs> I came upstairs to check out some of the athletic wear and apparently I'm I'm just going for it today. Jamesy woke up in there and it gets, it gets toasty in shops when you're all suited up. So we came outside and it's snowing. <gasps> it looks really beautiful. However, there is truly a side of us that is just ready for winter to be over. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Woo! Are we just going straight to the train or we're going to go to the PO box? What do you think? PO box. Okay. All right, we're in like the south part of the theater, more like finance district, really. Um, here is our PO box. We've never really shown that in person. Um, but they, we didn't think it'd be open and accessible this weekend because they've like limited hours because of just not as much foot traffic downtown. Um, but Sarah's hoping to go this week during the yes, day. We know that, I, that there's some stuff there. So yeah. I'm so sorry that we haven't been able to pick this stuff up. But I mean, it's just like more of a task. But. Yeah. Cause there's not, I mean like Sarah could drive and like park temporarily there, run in. Yeah, but, I guess now. I just like I wasn't aware of the parking situation. I just figured like it was downtown. So. Yeah. So there's now there's stuff here. That, that could be helpful. All along this. Yeah. That you could just quick hop in. But we're right. gonna head over to the CTA and head back home, right? Yeah. You have to edit. I gotta go to the gym. Yeah. I'm excited to see what you got from Primark. Yo. <laughs> We made it home. I don't think we've updated since, but Peter approved of my idea for James and Teddy's first matching outfit from Primark. This is the front. It's Mickey going in one pocket and coming out the other and little patches on the knees. And then this is the Mickey on the back. It's like more of an orange than a red and just super cute and colorful. We were planning on going to the drive-in movie theater tonight 
to see Jurassic Park, but then I went and like looked at the time and it said 10 a.m., but like no tickets available. I have no idea what happened. So we're gonna have to try that out next weekend. I don't know if there's the demand. I don't know if, I don't know what happened. Um, we never did watch Dear Evan Henson last night. So we can do that. And I thought we were gonna have like car snack dinner with the drive-in. But now I have to cook. Or, or order. Peter. <laughs> All right, the pizza has arrived. This Yay. is true deep dish <laughs> Chicago pizza with real cheese from Diagostano's. We're redeeming ourselves. We're redeeming yesterday. ourselves. Jalapeno poppers, garlic bread, the end of Raya. You ready? Yeah. Baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's late. It's like 11.50. You got some of the days where the Brookhart's be like, it's late. It's three in the morning. Uh, we're gonna, you know what? We should probably go to bed. I was just asleep on the couch. Yeah, you, you and Sarah and James fell asleep on the couch. Well, all three of us fell asleep on the couch like three hours ago, but I woke up about two and a half hours ago and I've been awake since then. Um, but I just dropped James in his crib. Fingers crossed he stays asleep. Yeah. And so I think we're gonna go to bed. Well, yeah. back to bed. <laughs> to bed, back to bed. Um. So, I mean, we, we talked about that we were going to mention about Florida. Oh, yeah. Um, and we decided we're not going to go, <laughs> which was kind of from left field. I really didn't think that that would be our choice. Um, because, like, we initially wanted to do, like, a four-week stay. Like, our plan was oh, probably our longest, most, like, just be in one place for as long as possible. Um, Our last visit before Teddy, before Sarah gets too pregnant to travel with Teddy and before yeah. he's born. And it's Princess Run Disney Weekend. Uh -huh. It's also the 10 year anniversary of my dad passing away and that would have been on Princess That would have been on the half marathon. On the half marathon, that so that special. felt special, but um, just for like our travel plans the rest of the year, we're going to Las Vegas, we're going, oh we're actually going to Canada in August. Um, for Peter's big ultra marathons, and then Vegas in October. James and I are going to be in Tampa in June for a wedding. Yeah, I did those in like the wrong order. <laughs> so um, yeah. And we also are hoping to bring Teddy to Disney before the year is up. Yeah. It just like right now for like our plans. Like, and the, the big plan. Yeah. All of the like, those are like, what are consuming like like leisure travel funds, mm -hmm. but the biggest intent is to finally have our little down payment nugget ready about yeah. this time next year to purchase a home. Yes. So like we're telling ourselves that like, you know, how many months of savings would have to rebuild what we would spend to do a four or five weeker this month. Um, mm -hmm. And unfortunately the Brookhearts are trying to be responsible right now <laughs> and saying we're not. So right now, yeah, even, even like a small trip, like you guys are aware, it's expensive. Yeah. And so it's just kind of like what caliber of trip, like we just, we want to be hyper aware of saving and unfortunately just like feels like patience will win. So the Brookhearts aren't going to be in Disney for a long time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I feel we always bring Disney into our yeah. days and We'll figure that out. So, but I mean, I think that's it's gonna be a challenge for us to to find fun things to do and to um, and I don't know. We always make the ordinary extraordinary, regardless of where we are. Yeah. So that is our sad update, but for and good unexpected. Reasons. For <laughs> good reasons. For good reasons. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>